All right, so our cursory responding from Bradbury Gladwin into the scene. And they'll be coming down South Wayne to ask everyone to stand on the sidewalk there. And we'll You see both of the crews going off. Everybody's fully geared up. Our driver will be at the pump panel. So everyone's got a different job to do here. Watch our two firefighters at Gladwin. They're pulling off their cross slate that we call it, their hose. Either the firefighters from Radnick are pulling off their hose on the front, which is a bumper line. See, they're coming, you see the firefighter from Gladwin carrying, he has stabilization blocks in the bag. So at some point, he's going to get those in place. We do that to make sure the car is either roll forward or back. For today's demo, we're on a flat ground, which is a good thing, so we don't expect that. But if we're on an incline or decline, we want to make sure that the car is not going to roll. I'm sure for YouTube, if you've seen some of those videos where the fire's burning and no one's chopped the tires and the car starts rolling away. They have a firefighter in the nozzle, and then you have a backup helping up the hose. So we start to see that, that black, nasty, brownish smoke. That's not a good thing. We start to see the white smoke. Things start to lighten up. That means we're making good progress. That fire's starting to go out. The firefighters were glad we just on the other side of the car there. He has what's called a halogen bar. We saw that Don't have it out, that's okay. Actually, I no, take that back. They do. If you look at the one that uh, fire foot up in the front here, he's using a rescue tool to help get that hood open. So we can either use a rescue tool to get the hood open and help extinguish any fire in there, or we can use the halogen bar to help get that hood opened up. So for a vehicle, it's a non-electric vehicle, typically 500 to 700 gallons of water, which is what these two fire trucks carry, that's more enough to handle what's needed. And if we were talking about a tractor trailer, something much bigger, we're going to need more water. So that's what we would be calling for more fire trucks uh, from our home station, whether it's Radnor or Colton, what we refer to as mutual aid. So Radnor covers a big chunk of the blue route, so we're for George Clay Fire Company, we're at the Brimall Fire Company. They have Gladwin coming up, which they cover the scoop will as well to help us. We have Brimall up there. So a lot of different things have happened depending on what the response is. Typically for your run-of-the-mill car fire, you have one company responding northbound on the Blue Road, one company coming southbound, one company maybe focusing on the fire, or the other company is ensuring seat safety by blocking a lane or two and creating that safe zone that we talked about because it doesn't matter what's on fire. We always have motorists out there that want to keep driving a thousand miles an hour. They don't care. So really, that's a whole other focus for us. Not just the fire, it's the secondary issues we're looking out for as a crews are working to get things under control. All right, so we're just about, got a little bit left here. Let's get the first from Radnor and Gladwin Fire Company's round of applause. Again, just like our demonstration crews, from Bridgeport and to the Crush up there in Kansas Fire EMS. All these responders here are volunteers. So 
you that they're here tonight because obviously other things that they can be doing. They're here to help educate, help demonstrate uh, the skills of what it takes to provide service to the community. So thank all of them for their service.